Hello everybody, Mr. Rome here. Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we went through our Hawaiian school trip where we hung out with our friends in Hawaii. We out on Waikiki Beach, amongst other things. That was all pretty nice. But now we are back in Japan and we'll be resuming our normal activities. And seeing what Putaba found in the data that she acquired, you know, that we acquired for her. There's also been another another development that um, our characters are not yet aware of, and that Principal Kobayakawa of the school has had an accident. Or rather, it seems he was forced to have a mental shutdown, which led to him having an accident. So, we'll be hearing about that, almost certainly. Once we're back in school. But for the evening, we can't really do anything. So we're just going to have to go to bed. Although, can I check the plants? Yes. And we need to give it something. So we're going to give it the mega fertilizer. Minus points. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the bed. <sighs> Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, never mind. You should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. All right. Well, we'll sleep. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip, and you're already studying. How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. There it is. <laughs> he suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Of course. Um, the typical MO. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? Well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. It's her first time at school in a while. I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? Uh, yeah. For real? That was quick. Oh yeah, never mind that. Did you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're going to target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big and surprise the world. Good morning. Ah, Sumi. Good morning, Arashi Senpai and Sakamoto Senpai, correct? Oh, morning. You're back today too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Um, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. 
You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Uh, yes. Ryuji. Um, yes, that sounds great. Huh? What about class? There's another urgent assembly? Yeah, I guess there would be. Is it true he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happening to the school? Are we cursed? Yes. This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. And we will now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide room was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Doubtful. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit. He was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was going to kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Are people going to blame us for this too? It's possible. Flash forward. Now here's an inconsistency. We were out of the country when this happened. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? Ah, yes we did. No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. Right, because we've told her that she was the one responsible for giving us the, um, the target. And I'm blanking on his name. But, but not that she's a member of the group. Yet. But she would never do something so foolish. Are you so sure? And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? Yes, we were not even in the country at the time. Yeah, we had nothing against him. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Yes. That's right. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. And my bond with Sai is growing deeper. Rank four. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. Yes, we uh, heard that name. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Alright, so it seems like something interesting happens with this o Okumura. Which we'll find out. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. Only a matter of time. 
People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we are responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. That's a stretch. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. Exactly. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the phantom thieves are on our side. I wish the phantom thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even phantom thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Yeah, it's blowing up way faster than you'd expect. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Well, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. Corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Yes, have been noticing that a lot of the incidents have focused around various companies in the food industry. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. It is suspicious. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. Or at least connected to the people who are. I get that, but still. We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then. He's totally our next target. Bit of a leap. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. How convenient. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Yes, because from Futaba we know that someone can have a palace and not be evil. Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is unsettling. Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, on? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. 
Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, yeah. What's gotten into you? Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. This is where the pressure is starting to cause some of the cracks to show. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! I'm human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty? That girl. I've been seeing her around a bit. I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. Yes. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. There won't be. At least not a real one, anyway. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. He's not yet. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. Yeah, she did. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Well, looks like you managed to get into the palace. Somehow, she's in the palace, too. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Nope. I see. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Uh, Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. 
Uh, do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He probably just off doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Little. Oh, well. Have a good day. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. I don't buy that our principal's death was an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. And here we go. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Why? Think about Kamashita's victims. The principal is just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. That's a little dangerous thinking. Disappointing. Uh, Mr. Inui. Yesterday, my wife threw out one of my books without asking me. The Okamura Way. And it was even signed. With his logical man management skills, he revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He then started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. Okamura's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could she sell that to a second-hand shop? But, in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree, Arashikun? Oh? A second-hand shop is mostly meant for sale of goods and supporting charitable causes, but... Do you know the answer? What does a pawn shop offer that a second-hand shop doesn't? Money loans for collateral. This is it. Very good. Correct. Thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax write-off that way. It takes incredible business acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable at once. Oh, he actually knew that? Yes, yes, yes. Knowledge points. I just remembered. There are rumors that President Okamoto may be getting into politics. Oh, really? It is true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways. I would love to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. More texts in class. Utaba. Uh, hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Uh, what's wrong? We're gonna wait together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. There's been a little bit of an issue brewing. Looks like they're still working for the palace. Intruders discovered. Commence in pursuit protocol. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods Corporate Headquarters. Interesting. Hey, this is that Okumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm, wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to Okamoto's palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, we're communicating in a way that um, you can't overhear. Uh, Morgana went into o Okamoro's palace. Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. All right, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things, too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget, everyone. All right, well, we're going to be pushing into a palace uh, event uh, here soon. And um, because there is no Morgana, we can't do anything until that's resolved in some way. So I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here a few minutes early. And then next time we will uh, see about getting into this palace. All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.